Then the third thing which which comes into consideration is called the goal state. Okay. Then there is a scope. We will talk about what is scope. Then there is a milestone, project milestone. So these are the five important things that are part of the project structure. Let's understand one by one. What is business case? Okay. Business case talks about establishing the business case and strategic alignment to business. It's key to ensure strong sponsorship and commitment of resources to the project and to change them. Okay. One thing which you always keep in mind that in the business case that there are three things that you need to keep in mind, the three questions which you always remember. First, what is the background of the project or the process on which you're working on? For example, if you're working on, let's say, uh, a project for improving the profitability of the organization, okay, or you're trying to improve the project for the cost optimization, your prime focus should be on uh, what is a, what is that high level process all about? Okay, if I don't mention the high level process, uh, then in that case, my stakeholders won't know that which particular process I'm going to improve. So for example, you're going to improve a one particular process. Okay. And that's why you need to mention the background of that particular process. Second thing that which you need to keep in mind in business case is the need of the project. What is the need of doing this project? Why am I doing it? What is the reason behind doing this project? Okay. And the third question which you need to keep in mind is, what are the consequences of not doing this project? Which means, what is the urgency of not doing the project? If these questions are answered in the business case, it becomes a strong business case for us to commence. If these questions are not answered properly, it would not be called as a strong business case. It would be called as a weak business case, which would not help us to get a stakeholder buy-in. Okay, so that's why I just recap. The first question is the background of the process which you're going to improve just the two or three lines so that the stakeholder knows that what is the start and the end process? What is that process all about? Second question which you need to keep in mind is the need of doing it. Why am I doing this? And third is the what are the consequences of not doing this project? Okay, in, in the consequences, you should add things like the business uh, impact, uh, how much business impact that it is going to have, how much is the business cost which has already been incurred. The more business numbers, the, the tangible numbers that we're going to put, the stronger the business case is. Okay. Now talk about the problem statement. Okay, so uh, this is one of the important things which is talked by Mr. Albert Einstein. And we all know who's Albert Einstein, in short. I don't have to introduce it to you. He, he said, if I had one hour to solve a problem, I would spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and five minutes looking for solution. Okay, so it is very, very important to define the problem statement in such a way that we understand what is that thing that we are going to do. Okay, it has to be crystal clear. There are, there is an approach which is called as 4W1H, which we need to keep in mind, okay, in order to write a good problem statement. The 4W and 1H, so let's talk about 4W first and then we talk about 1H. First, in the problem statement, you should answer these questions. What is wrong or not meeting our customer? Second W, who it is impacting? Is it impacting the top leadership? Is it impacting the marketing head? Is it impacting the sales head? Is it impacting the distribution head, et cetera, et cetera. Third W is what is the impact of the problem? How much impact that it's going to have in the future? It could be a dollar benefit. It could be a, a cost which is going to incur. It could be a cost avoidance as well. Okay. What can we do now? Okay. These are the four W. And what is the H? How big is the problem? Okay, if I don't mention that what is the magnitude of the problem, what is the quantum of the problem, 
I will not be able to make a solid prognosis. Okay, so that's why it is important to ensure that we answer these four questions while designing a problem statement. Things which we should not mention in the problem statement, which is very, very important. The potential cause and the potential solution. Cause of the problem should never be a part of your defined phase under the problem or the opportunity state. So that's why it is very, very important to ensure that we should not answer these two things, the potential cause and the potential solution. Now we have certain guidelines, criteria for the good problem statement. Okay? A problem statement is a brief statement of the problem to be solved. The magnitude of the problem and the impact of the problem on the business. 